guys and girls, welcome to Tools in Action. I am AK the Jigstar, and now we're going to be installing the new threshold, which is a quick step in Sizo 4 in 1 silver effect. Now, as you can see, I've removed the old battered threshold and I'll be installing the new one um, and here are just a few of the tools I'm going to need to do it okay now as I've said before I don't have enough memory so I'll have to break this down into a series of videos so stay tuned first up measure the gap between the door frame Um, here it says 74.4, add the 10 centimeters and you have 84.4. So that's 844 millimeters. That's how wide the gap between the door frame is. So that's what size we'll be cutting these thresholds down to. I might take off half a millimeter just so it fits in without having to force it in. Okay now I'm using the Fisco 8mm matte coat EC class 1 retractable tape measure made in England. It has an awesome clip-on system that allows you to hook this to your your belt but it, it can detach so and then it can hook back on when you need it. Really awesome tool. Okay, see you in the next take. Thanks. Okay, time to cut the aluminium threshold down to size. As you can see, it's my setup. So I'll be changing to a different camera angle now so you can actually see me finish off the cut. Okay, here we go. Now, I'll be using a Tactic Miniature Hacksaw. shaking and bouncing around terrible I run out of camps unfortunately
glimpse of how clean the cut was it's pretty straight too well it's dead straight to be honest so there you go all right so stay tuned because we'll be installing these soon but first I want to show you how to remove the bits you don't want because this is a four-in-one um, threshold um, we just need the t-bar right in the middle and I'm gonna show you how to remove the other bits okay see you in a bit because we only want the T molding we're going to snap away both ends with this handy little handle from Quick Step. It fits right into the groove there, as you can see, and you just twist it to snap away what you don't want. See, as you can see, you just snap it away. By putting it in and out like that, and it just snaps it away, and it leaves you with what you're looking for. Don't go too far. It snap. That's as simple as that. one side done. Now, memory constraints, I'll do the other side. Hopefully my phone's not going to clonk out before that happens. Okay. Okay, I've removed the um, bits I didn't want from the threshold to um, reveal the T bar, T molding, and now I want to align it with a plastic bit that's going to be attached to the floor that's going to fasten the thing down. And this is a simple way of doing it you just put this right, brace it against there, and then push that. So now you know where exactly that's going to be. So now I'm going to hold that down and then punch in my holes and then screw them in and get this fastened securely once and for all. Okay, as you can see, the fresh holes have been installed. Pretty neat, pretty nice, and loads of room for expansion underneath, so all is well now. Unfortunately, I couldn't show you the process, it just got a little bit too hectic, but next time I will, when I've got a bit more time, demonstrate exactly how you install NCSO thresholds. Thank you very much, and goodbye.